We are officially live. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. At syempre, lahat ng mga kababayan natin na nakatutok ngayon mula sa Pilipinas. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Anton Rojas, greeting you live from the Suzuka International Circuit dito sa Japan for the 2019 Asia Road Racing Championship. Now, I'm very excited for this race and can't wait to cheer on my fellow Filipinos of the UMA Racing Yamaha Philippines team. Syempre, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito Si The Wonder Boy, McKinley Kyle Paz, at syempre si The Chairman Masato Fernando. Makausap natin ang dalawa in just a few moments. But of course, we'd like to invite all of you to like and share this live stream if you're supporting the Philippine team like I am. And make sure na gamitin na hashtag, hashtag RaceYourFlagARRC and hashtag YamahaRacingPH. And of course, ilike na rin po ang Facebook page ng Yamaha Motor Philippines para manatili kayong updated sa ating racing team. Now, Yamaha Motor Philippines has been supporting the dream of Filipino racers for a decade now and they've honed the talents through their Yamaha Grand Prix and continue to do so until this very day. Kaya naman, that's where both McKinley, Kyle and Sato started and now they're representing the Philippines dito sa prestigiosong competition. Kaya naman, right now they are paving the path for a future generation of riders and these Filipino racing icons are now heroes that inspire a nation. So let's talk to them right now. Let's bring in the Wonder Boy, McKinley Kyle Pass, and of course the chairman, Masato Fernando. Give it up, guys. All right. Kasama na natin ang mga idol, the Wonder Boy, and of course the chairman. Simulan ko muna dito kay the Wonder Boy, Kyle Pass. Idol, kamusta? Kamusta naman ang feeling na nandito tayo ngayon sa Japan? Uh, Siyempre, napakasaya po dahil uh, dito po tayo sa Japan para i-represent po yung Philippine flag po natin. Okay, meron ka bang mensahe sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin na nakatutok ngayon? Uh, supportan nyo po kami ma mamaya sa race 2 po namin dito sa Japan. Okay, Kyle, ikaw ang isa sa mga nangunguna ngayon sa kompetisyon. Paano mo mananatili ang iyong pwesto at ano ang plano mo sa race mamaya? Uh, Siyempre, gagawin ko pa rin po ang best ko para manatili po doon sa points para di po tayo bumaba. Yan po, gagawin ko po best ko para mamaya po sa race 2. Ano naman ang mensahe mo sa lahat ng mga nagnanais na maging katulad mo, mga future generation of riders sa Pilipinas? Uh, sa mga... Aspiring riders ng Philippines po, uh, wag po kayong matatakot. Talagang pag gusto nyo po ng racing, uh, pagbutihin nyo po dahil uh, di po imposibleng uh, mapunta po kayo dito sa Asia Road Racing Championship. Isipin nyo mga kababayan, 17 years old lang itong si Kyle Truly, the Wonder Boy Idol. Good luck mamaya pero kausapin ko muna ang isa sa mga veterano natin, si Sato. The Chairman, Sato, kamusta naman ang feeling dito sa Suzuka Circuit? Uh, masaya dahil uh, second time ko ngayon na uh, magre-race dito sa Japan, Suzuka Circuit. Kaya excited ako dito ngayon sa race 2. Ano ba ang feeling, Sato, na nagko-compete ka on a global stage? Uh, Siyempre, ibang experience. Uh, sobrang saya dahil lahat ng, lahat ng Pilipino uh, sumusuporta sa amin. At ang Yamaha Philippines nandiyan para supportahan kami dito sa pinaka-highest level ng competition ng Underbone. At syempre, maraming nakatutok ngayon mula sa Pilipinas. Lahat ng mga kababayan natin, ano ang mensahe mo sa kanila? Uh, bali, nagpapasalamat po ako dahil sa supporta nyo. At lagi po kayong nandiyan para sa amin, para supportahan ng team namin. At syempre, sa lahat ng rider na... Gustong maabot ang pangarap namin, huwag kayong, huwag kayong sumuko. Uh, Kayang-kaya nyo, basta, basta training lang at practice. Hindi, hindi imposible ang makapunta rito. There you have it mga kababayan, ang ating idol, the chairman Masato Fernando. So thank you very much Kyle at Sato, babalikan ka namin mamaya. But you know what, this moment is not just about the UMA Racing Yamaha Philippines team. As a Yamaha Motor Philippines exclusive, we will be unveiling a brand new motorcycle. And of course, Yamaha has continued to grow in the Philippines with a riding community that is absolutely passionate about riding. And with just about 500 shops nationwide, that fiery passion will continue to burn with plenty of motorcycles available. So for all our viewers, viewers right now, check out www.yamaha-motor.com.ph to see the entire lineup of the brand. And now, I'm sure everybody is excited about this. It is time to unveil Yamaha's newest machine. So helping us out, 
we have Masato Fernando and of course McKinley Kyle Paz. Guys, are you ready? Let me hear you. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go, here we go. It is now time to unveil Yamaha's newest machine in three, two, one. There you go. This is the all-new Sniper 150 Tate Championships Create History. The Race Blue Edition embodies Yamaha's racing spirit. This is the ultimate weapon on the racetrack. This isn't the only design of the Sniper 150 because the style of speed goes beyond the circuit and onto the streets where our precision meets your sophistication. So once again, let's hear from our riders who have a storied history of Sniper 150, but of course, I'd like to share that this all-new Sniper 150 will also have a matte black colorway, matte green, and of course, yellow Hornet colorway as well. All right, babalikan ko ngayon ang ating mga riders. Okay, simulan natin kay Sato, bilang isa sa mga veterano ng Pilipinas when it comes to motorcycle racing. Kwentuhan mo naman kami about your history with the Yamaha Sniper 150. Uh, I'm happy that there's a new Sniper 150 uh, because more people can experience what I did. As a racer, the Sniper 150 uh, can experience all riders and and syempre, uh, iba, yung, iba ngayon yung labas ngayon ng Sniper uh, ma mas maganda siya mas maganda yung handling and syempre, mas maganda ngayon yung Design, yon. <laughs> Salamat. What was your reaction nung una mo nakita yung bagong Sniper 150? Ah, uh, iba. Kung baga, syempre, nag-iiba yung design niya. Mas excited kami na ma-experience yung bago ngayon ng Sniper 150. Okay, salamat sa ito. Lilipat naman ako. Pupunta natin si Kyle ngayon. Kyle, napakabata mo, but very successful as a racer, one of the most promising young riders in the country. Ano naman ang masasabi mo tungkol sa all-new Sniper 150? Ah, Siyempre, napakaganda po nung bago Sniper 150. Masalong yung headlight po. Talagang nakakainlove po tignan. Then kasi, uh, ito po yung isa sa naging key ko para mapunta po dito sa sa RRC. Kumbaga, isa po siya sa tumulong sa akin para maging top rider po sa Pilipinas. Okay, Kyle. Tinanong ko si Sato kanina yung initial reaction niya nung nakita niya yung bagong Sniper 150. Ikaw naman, ano yung naging reaction mo nung una mong nakita ito? Uh, gustong gusto ko po yung headlight niya at mas inayos po yung sa front suspension pati sa tapaludo po sa harap. Ayun po, mas, mas okay po siya tignan niya yun. Mas nakaka-inlove po siya tignan niya yun. Alright, thank you very much Kyle and Sato. You've heard it from both Kyle and Sato. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys again later. But now, let's all welcome to tell us more about the all-new Sniper 150. Let's give it up for the Marketing Section Senior Manager of Yamaha Motor Philippines, Mr. Jude Camus. Okay, thank you Anton. So guys, the one that you've been waiting for, the new Sniper 150. So. We can see uh, a very elegant design. Uh, this machine has been the weapon of our uh, heroes here in the Philippines, especially on the racing scene. So, what's new with the Sniper? Of course, still 150cc, very powerful liquid cool engine. And as you can see, new cowling design, more aerodynamic, and at the same time, very stylish looking. So, with this, we also have the Shepard disc brakes uh, for improved braking. Uh, this is front and rear disc brakes and the triple LED lamp. So this gives us a brighter side during at night and especially a mas, ma, mas, ano, mas aggressive look for the motorcycle. And aside from that one, a full LCD meter panel and a very ergonomic design and very stylish design that allows the rider to see visibly the performance of whatever has happening in his motorcycle. We also have a new uh, hazard lamp and at the same time, this hazard lamp is coupled with the kill engine switch. Plus, the passing light is also installed for this new, new motorcycle. So, all these new features, meron pa yung wider, wider front tires then. So, this uh, new sniper have a wider front tires compared to the earlier version. And all this package packed 
as a weapon for the legacies of Philippines in terms of racing. So, you want to hear it? Let's give it up for Mr. Jude Camus. Okay, now that we have seen and we are hearing the new Sniper 150 by Yamaha, let's get a photo opportunity. Once again with Masato Fernando, we'd like to call them on and McKinley Kyle Paz and Mr. Jude Camus as well. And we'd also like to invite for this photo of the general manager of Southeast and East Asia Sales Division, the general manager of Motorsports Strategist Division, Mr. Kitaro Horikoshi. This will be available in the Philippines real soon, guys. So watch out for the all-new Sniper 150 by Yamaha Motor Philippines. So once again, this is the all-new Sniper 150 coming soon to the Philippines. Now let's enjoy the rest of the race day. Good luck to Uma Racing Yamaha Philippines team. I'm Anton Rojas. Like the Yamaha Facebook page. Share this live stream. And remember, only Yamaha revs your heart.